We've done over a dozen choreographic coding labs in different parts of the world, and this is the first one in the UK. It's for creative coders who has interest in movement and who want to transform and work with data creatively. I'm really committed to organizing opportunities for different disciplines to intersect with dance practice and dance knowledge, and this is one of those opportunities. Throughout the day, we have a number of sessions that are led by different participants or visiting practitioners who will come and basically give us creative input or tell us about their software or their research. This opportunity to have first-hand explanations from dancers, first-hand also movement sessions, so you also have an embodied way of trying to <laughs> approach dance. So this in combination with sharing knowledge with fellow artists who are sort of in a similar field, I think this is probably the main benefit. Maybe some of the artists after the CCLNs that they decide to collaborate. Code is kind of a solo activity, but here we have so many collaborators, so like finding a project that I can work with other dancers and work with other coders and that's something I didn't expect to find. Isadora has been around for 20 years now or a little bit more. It's good to see someone who's 22 or 25 and their current interests because that's different than the interests I had when I first created it for myself. For me it's just a pure joy to be in that situation, to be with those people and to experience how they might put what I created to use. This week I've been capturing dances in various poses and also looking at capturing movement sequences and seeing how the algorithm interprets that. It's representing that in terms of code and sort of relating it to data structures and robotics and AI and image making, I find that whole connection really, really rich. Aoi and Esteban are a strong driving force for dance and technology. So the fact they've started creating this space where they can welcome other artists and host the CCL, for example, makes a lot of sense. Uh, the atmosphere of curiosity, the richness of feedbacks and opinions that come together, so this for me is really the most interesting part. This has been the most encouraging and supportive group, and I think it really is a testament of the facilitators. We try to find the, the most inspiring people out there that has something to offer and then try to bring them here at the heart of Chatham where we hope we will get more and more involved with the local community. The main aim of this space is to share knowledge.